I actually thought we did a hell of a job defensively. I think the difference in the game was the free throw line. I was a little disappointed, if I was to be honest. But they do have a tendency to draw fouls, but I thought it, the discrepancy was a little bit tough. It's 69 shots. It's an unbelievable job. But defensively, the only mistake we made, the way we wanted to cover, is our bigs didn't do nothing. Gave up 12 points to Rogers early. That was disappointing. The other thing that was frustrating was number of layups we missed in the first half. I mean, AJ took blame for five of them. He said, "And you just don't beat a good team on the road. They're a good team. Um, we were rebounding them. That was a big deal. We had five turnovers. That was a big deal. We did everything except win the game, and we lost it at the free throw line. So uh, they're a good team." Um, I thought our effort was 10 times better than it was at Northwestern, which is very critical because that means somebody's listening and yet uh, disappointed in another tough loss. Um, you, you, did, you mentioned that effort, I guess. The fight, the, the fight that, that your guys showed in that second half, you could fall behind, um, you were able to attack, I guess. What, did you, what was the difference maybe in that middle part of the second half that you guys had? Well, we wanted to move the ball a lot more. It was too much dribbling, and we moved it early. We didn't move in the middle, and a couple times we got down seven, and we fought back. I thought a big key was fighting back for halftime, where at Northwestern, that's where we went from five to, to uh, 15, 14, and here we were at seven, and we cut it down, and um, we had a little run at the end of the half, and that was good, but we just thought better ball movement. I thought we... Uh, I thought we ran some good things. I was really proud of my staff. I thought defensively we did everything we wanted to do. Um, Tomas hit a big shot that went on the baseline jumping into us. And uh, they hit two big threes, I think. Uh, one by uh, Hawkins, I believe. I don't know what happened on a cross match. We just did not even guard him. And the other one was uh, Hammonds hit a big three. But, I mean, if we played that good, we would have won three, four more games. Um, that doesn't mean I'm happy uh, with a loss or how we played. I'm just telling you, we played a lot better than we've been playing. Tommy went a little unorthodox um, over here defensively with your matchups there. Really. Can you kind of explain that, the thought process behind that, how you saw it play out? Yeah, Doug Woodger came to me a week ago, two weeks ago, had an idea. And, and then all of a sudden, uh, Purdue did some, something similar. And uh, our bigs just didn't cover it. I mean, that was unexcusable. And I have no sympathy. Um, you got a job to do, do your job. And uh, shit, and honor Bill Belichick, you should do your job. You know, and uh, so that was disappointing, to be honest with you. Uh, Marty, and Marty did rebound the ball well, did some other things well, but Given layups, he had, you know, 12 points for the layups at the beginning of the game uh, was a killer. So um, I loved what we did defensively. I give my staff credit on that. I give the players credit for handling it. Something, as you say, completely unorthodox. Um, and uh, I mean, we just did everything else pretty good except fouling. And I mean, we hold them to 41 33, out rebound them, do a better job on the uh, you know, the points up turnovers is every one we made, we only made seven, and yet they scored on, on most of them. So um, that part was disappointing. Thank you. Tom, I'm just wondering, you've seen Coleman Hawkins over the years. How have you seen him grow? What, what challenges does he give people? Yeah, I mean, Hawkins is, is getting better. I mean, he's, um, he's done a nice job with his body. I think he's stronger and tougher. Early, he was just a shooter that wasn't very strong and tough, personally. Uh, but I thought he was. I mean, I, I, there's been a big change in him. He shoots the ball so quick that uh, we couldn't afford to cheat, and we, uh, you know, it was really uh, we put some pressure on, and he hit that big three. That was a big three, man. Just, but uh, you know, we didn't do an awful job on him. I mean. Uh, you know, he goes four for nine, but he goes three for five from the three. And 
missed many free throws. It was a very good free throw shooting team. We thought that was a big key to the game. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, back here. Um, the, obviously, losing on its own, losing by three to Illinois is a game a lot of people are going to lose. I'm just wondering if, if you look at your team right now, other than the big guys, where where else do you want to see growth in the next coming games and coming? I think Jaden, you know, has been playing pretty well. He had those couple things tonight, a couple shot selection things. Uh, Tyson got in foul trouble, and I think he took himself out of the game. Uh, that bothered me a little bit because um, we need Tyson. AJ continues to play at a very high level. Unfortunately, he missed all those layups, but I got, I mean, the effort, the things we asked him to do, I, I, I thought he was very, very good. Um, we want to get uh, Booker some chance. I thought Colin Carr went in there and did some things. Uh, I'd like to see Malik grow a consistent player. He was a lot better tonight, you know, after you know, having a game where he gave us nothing. Uh, so I, I, I guess a little more consistency out of him, and then we got to get uh, some of those other bigs, you know, hopefully either Booker or uh, Jackson Kohler. But, you know, he got in there and you know, I mean, these guys are so crazy. I mean, they, <laughs> poor guys, they, they're out two and a half months and they think they're going to come back and just be able to razzle and dazzle right off the bat and then we didn't get back and it's not his fault. He just, um, that's the problem. You have major injuries during the year. Uh, but we need him because he can score it in there. And uh, Even though Marty rebounded it, we thought he had some layups that he missed and uh, that part was frustrating, to be honest with you. So, Everybody's got to improve, but we just got beat by a damn good team. Um, with a free throw discrepancy like it is. Um, you know, I feel good about our performance as far as how hard we played and what we did and how well we rebounded against a team that has been kicking everybody's butt on the boards. So uh, we're going to get better. We're going to grow from here. We're going to get better. Um, everybody will give up on us, and that's fine with me. I don't, I, I don't even blame them. But, but I, I, I think I know where this team can still get, and I plan to get them there.